National Health Freedom Coalition is here to promote the truth about health freedom. We're a nonprofit organization working to help you understand and know the issues surrounding health freedom. My name is Diane Miller, and I'm an attorney and director of law and public policy for NHFC. Health freedom is about your fundamental right to make whatever health care decisions you want to make in order to keep you and your family well, and ultimately in order to survive on your own terms and in your own way. At NHFC, we work to protect your right to make health decisions because we know that it's your constitutional fundamental right. We are seeing those rights being taken away every day and in many ways sometimes without you even knowing or realizing it. Let me give you some examples. Doctors in many states are being reprimanded for going outside of their conventional standard of care for attempting to advise patients to use a more holistic treatment to their health care. Holistic doctors have been shut down, like the Brzezinski Cancer Clinic in Texas, and holistic dentists have lost their license for letting patients know that mercury silver fillings are toxic to their health. And everybody knows mercury is toxic. And in many states, traditional healers of all kinds, traditional naturopaths, nutritional consultants, and hands-on healers have been shut down for practicing medicine without a license even though no clients have complained or no harm has, has been claimed. NHFC has been instrumental in seven states so far to support laws that protect homeopaths, traditional naturopaths, herbalists, and many other healers from unjust accusations of practicing medicine without a license. Licensing laws are one of the most common ways that occupational groups try and create monopolies on practices. For instance, recently in Wisconsin, the dietitians have introduced a bill to outlaw all speech having to do with recommending and advising clients about nutrition care unless the person becomes a licensed dietitian. Can you imagine the grandma saying, chicken soup is good for you? These kinds of bills, in our opinion, are un-American and infringe on citizens' rights of free speech. Licensing laws are just one area of concern, though. Other concerns come from federal product laws and global food laws. For example, dietary supplements and new holistic products that consumers are using every day are being attacked by federal agencies like the FDA and the FTC, even though there are no claims of harm. The recent FDA draft guidance for new dietary ingredients is a good example of the FDA attempting to regulate dietary supplements out of existence. And the Global Codex Food Safety Guidelines are attempting to put maximum dosage limits on common vitamins that are shipped between countries, even though U.S. considers vitamins as food nutrients and consumers can obtain large and small doses of vitamins to fit their needs in the United States. NHFC wants you to be educated about these health freedom issues that you, so that you can become involved in protecting your rights to health freedom. We believe that citizens need to be involved in creating solutions that work for all of us. We view freedom as a conversation, an active process, a conversation ultimately important to every citizen's health. If we the people are not in the conversation, then the outcomes of the future are not in our hands. We need to be part of the solution. NHFC is here to educate you about health freedom and what you can do to protect your health freedom. Please join us and become part of our freedom team. Thank you.